Hello all, welcome back. Um, in the last video, we understand what is a reduce method with the help of reduce okay, array method. Okay, we can calculate the total marks for this array. So now we are going to take some complex example and let's see some twists and turns are there. Please watch this video till the end. Definitely you will love it. Okay. So if you see this simple, uh, so we have mass details. I'm just doing mass dot reduce, and we have provided accumulator. Okay, this is accumulator because even if you calculate uh, total with the help of for loop, we will take a reference. Right, first we will initialize the total is equal to zero, and then we can do it. So here, um, with this syntax, it's working perfectly, and we are getting the output. So if you see. I'm just adding this uh, the new item to the total every time and we end of the day we are getting the results but really really, really interesting twist and turns are there like this let's focus on them first let's see for this with the help of just simple reduce method we got the exact result so now as I said we are going to take some complex example so here we are taking uh, array of mass details okay and we have mentioned okay i need to update this in the english maths science okay we have six subjects details and now we need to calculate the total marks of this particular student details so let's see we can take with the help of reduce only and just guess the answer again so here I'm writing okay we can take some value which we, it will return so so t total that will be the total marks and uh, marks details dot reduce okay so now just Okay, stop this uh, what like do a pause for this video and just implement your own uh, reduce method and see what is the result whether it is coming properly or not and then come back and watch it so that's a good practice that's a good practice okay then only you will become a better programmer if you just watch the videos and you just move on it's not a good idea okay I hope you are doing fine so the marks detail that reduce so yeah we need to pass the callback function that we already know so this reduce whenever you are, you are dealing we are dealing with a reduce method here two things will come as a argument so one is accumulator so that is a total or even you want to give a other name you can give it and another one is just item so this item so this callback will iterate on each and every item right every item so now we need to calculate the total it, it should calculate the total and return so here I'm just doing the same thing how we have done there so he in the previous example item itself is a marks details as a numeric value here the marks are there in item dot marks so we should give item dot marks okay super fantastic now I want to display this results console.log console.log t total so here let me add some simple message like total marks something to because previously we are logging some details so the second attempt we are trying so just guess what will be the output because for the f we are taking the same same numbers 93 53 86 and 99 97 and 91 so that whatever the result we will we already got here we got the 590 so naturally our expectation is definitely it should get 519 right okay but there is a twist here <laughs> that's why the JavaScript is more interesting so let's see the output boom what it is giving 
it is giving object oh my god and 53 86 99 97 91 what is meaning so it is just doing object and uh, fifth uh, if you observe carefully these are the mass details 53 is my hindi mass 86 english 99 mathematics 97 the science and 91 social okay so this is like uh, telugu mars details maybe this in javascript don't like telugu or it doesn't understand importance of telugu and all don't like that but the here one interesting point is how this reduce is working internally we should understand it first so observe carefully here so here in the first example in the first approach we didn't get any error any error so observe carefully and um, so if you see whenever we are doing this operation so <clears throat> naturally what reduce will do it will take this first item as a reference to this total what what i'm saying it will take this first item in that array as a reference for this total so it will take it will take total equal to 93 first and it doesn't iterate this callback on 93 so it will take 93 and it will initialize that to total total is equal to 93 then you are doing a callback function okay it will execute this callback function on 53 so then what 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 it is doing total plus item so total is already 93 and the new item is 53 so here it will do 93 plus 53 the fantastic and then next item of course it will calculate this total and it will store into the total again so here you can see so total equal to 93 plus 53 what is the value of 93 plus 53 it will store in the total in the next line the total will be so it's really really simple thing but sometimes it's very difficult to understand don't worry i will explain one or two times for you if you don't understand next next thing it will take 86 okay and it will do the same thing at the end of the day like the total will be uh, 93 plus uh, 53 because here uh, the, what is the value of 93 plus 53 it will store into the total that's what that is the meaning we don't think that it will store exactly like 93 plus 53 plus 86 okay because i'm very poor in calculation that's why i'm just uh, giving a reference okay so 53 and whatever the mass details are there so it will calculate and everything so finally it will that means what is the value of this in the end it will be y19 and no iterations are there so it will return that value into the total marks so the first thing this is very very important so what reduce is doing it is taking the first array item as the total marks this total value so it will initialize this 93 to this total so here also here also it is doing the same thing so because you are not providing what is the value of total initial value right whether it is zero or infinity either null or undefined we didn't initialize so what it will do what it will do this is super super fantastic so what it will do first it will consider total is equal to it, it is not going to consider 93 it is not going to do consider 93 because it doesn't know what what we discussed it will take the first item in that array as a total that's why it is taking the total like this it's considering this object as a tot initial value for this total yes if you want to see so just to do a console.log of total okay here i will just do <laughs> So console dot log before calculating what is the value of total right so observe carefully so refresh so if you see the first value of total is like uh, this object this object and then this object plus 53 and then this object plus 53 plus 86 that's the problem that's the problem but with in that first situation 
because even though we didn't initialize the value it was working fine because it's a number that's why we don't have any problem so observe carefully here if i do console.log console.log and uh, total so it will consider the first item as the initial value for this total so luckily in that situation that was a number that's why we don't have any problem so if you see it is this taking first value as 93 then it is calculating everything and it is returning a 519 but here in the second situation it is considering this first item like subject telugu and marks 93 object as a initial value for the total okay that's the problem so now how to solve this how to solve this only thing is we know right we should initialize the value for the total so how to initialize the value of total whether we can do like this is it possible let's see let's try our luck so i'm just removing this i hope you guys understood please do practice practice so just execute the code in your browser then only you will understand otherwise you can watch this video again after that also if you don't understand just ping me in the comment section i will come up with another beautiful example or i will explain much more simpler way so now what is our expectation it should give a 519 right okay i don't know whether it is possible or not total is equal to zero let's see no no luck even if you give a total is equal to zero here it is wrong because javascript is this reduce method is not accepting these things so but how to fix this it's very very simple so you should not give equal to zero here so just after this callback because the reduce okay he reduce is expecting the first one as a callback and the second parameter is also we can pass it and just give it a zero simple so now what it will do what it will do it will consider zero as the initial value for the total and it will start iterating for each and every item so let's say the result result boom we are getting properly okay even if you have a confusion so now just do a console.log here console.log what is the initial value of the total previously it was object right it was object so now it will show you clearly that what is the value initial value zero and then it is taking item dot mars of the first object second object like that it's coming so if we if i remove this what will happen so this it will take it will initialize the total is equal to the first item of the array first object or item of the array that's why we are getting the wrong results and just to do a simple simple initialization here just comma zero then our problem will solve so you see this is super super important and cool thing every javascript developer should know of course if you are already working with javascript 90 percent you already know but i am explaining for the students so that definitely they are not aware because i didn't explain before okay that's all for this video i hope you enjoyed okay if you understand just click on that like button and in the disc in the comment section just mention understood or done practice after completing practice after understand once you understand then only do that otherwise don't comment it and don't click on like button because i need to understand how many students are understanding properly for that only okay fantastic thank you and see you in the next video again bye bye